Peggy 18. Hello everyone, I'm Colin Graham. I'm the animation director on Watch Dogs, and today I'm excited to present to you a vertical slice of the Watch Dogs free roaming experience. So actually, this is not a mission. Everything we're gonna showcase today is completely systemic, and we're free to do as we please. We start off in the wards, the low-income district of our interpretation of Chicago. When creating the world of watchdogs, we wanted to stay true to the city and give a unique flavor to each and every neighborhood, not only in terms of the architecture, but also in terms of the people that you'll encounter and what is happening in their day-to-day -day lives. In the wards, you'll see working-class citizens, rusty cars, gang members, abandoned houses, and low-grade pawn shops. It's really not the kind of place that you're gonna to wanna to be alone after dark. Nowadays, modern cities are increasingly managed by software, controlling traffic lights, electricity grids, and surveillance systems. In our version of Chicago, this management software is called CTOS, or the Central Operating System. The CTOS controls everything in the city, and it was created by the Bloom Corporation. Since the CTOS has been installed in Chicago, people get to work faster, the crime rate is dropped, and the communication networks are now more accessible and stable than they ever were before. It goes without saying that if everything is connected, somebody able to take over the system would be extremely powerful. At this point in the game, we don't have control over this district CTOS system. The icons that you see over people's head mean that we cannot hack into their mobile devices at the moment. We need to find the CTOS control center, install a backdoor virus into the system to take control over all of the infrastructure in this district. There it is, the CTOS control center. No it's heavily guarded. Let's see if we can find the server access codes from a distance. With cameras, we can explore restricted areas without being spotted, tag different guards, and access details on their lives. It seems that Bloom employees all have a sort of shady past. There it is, the access code to the server room. Unfortunately, we can't access the server via the cameras. We need to sneak inside. One thing that was really important to us when we designed Watch Dogs was to fully support different player styles. Every situation in the game can be tackled the way the player sees fit. In this situation, we can go all out guns blazing, completely stealth without the guards ever seeing us, or we can hack from a distance without ever setting foot inside the restricted area. Let's hack this forklift. Aiden can use the environment to distract and lure guards. Pretty much anything you hack has multiple functions. So for example, you could use this forklift to access the roof, or you could use it to create cover. Hacking in Watch Dogs is all about player expression. Let's set an improv.